Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am alone in the house, which means I can be as loud as I want in this video. Today, I just wanted to pop on here real quick and show you guys, cause it is June, it is a new month, and you know what that means? New Knitted Wit Parks Collection colorways of hand-dyed yarn. So sit back, relax, get a cup of coffee. This is going to be a nice and simple video, just showing off some beautiful new yarn, putting it up here on my um, Swift and winding it up into a cake. Now I know some of you get a little bit dizzy when you see spinning things, so I will be sure to warn you ahead of time before I actually show you any of that. So that way you can just skip ahead of that spinning part. Let's go ahead and get that intro started. I got my coffee here and let's see the new Knitted Wit Parks Collection June 2021 colorways. Clink! Ooh, that's still kind of hot. chocolate mocha is the best flavor. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap of the four colorways. Let's start off with this one. Excuse me if I don't remember the names. The names are in the middle of the cake. I put the label in there. If memory serves me right. This is Women's Rights Monument. Zoom in. There you go. It is a golden toned mixed with white and a true grape jelly purple. Then we have this beautiful blue. It is a almost like a watercolor type of inspired colorway. It is browns with greens and blues and light sky blues. I did a little swatch. I always swatch my colorways to see how they play out because they do look different in the cake than what you would assume to be. Check that out. This is a nice, if you like Paxi from Knitted Wit, you're gonna love this one as well. It has hints of purple in there and white which sets it different from Paxi, but it is a very magenta and uh, how would I describe it? It's like a pink mix with red undertones. So it's not very, very pinky, but it is in the purple and reddish undertones family. Last but not least, I believe this one is Fossil Bed. This one's a really nice earth tone. One browns, rust red, and a steel blue, I would say. It's not technically gray, it is a steel blue. So that was the May colorways, and now we are going to inaugurate the June colorways. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. This one is Petroglyph National Monument. Ooh, this one is really, really nice. I saw this one, the first thing that came to my mind was cherry pie. Ugh. So if you're into any like American classic colorways, this one is definitely for you. It is a rust cherry red. It's neither red nor brown nor pink. Look at that. Oh, I'm a sucker for a good fade. If you know how to do a good fade, yes. And then you get that saturation of red right there. Ooh, very, very nice. And then this isn't white, this is a cream with a red undertone in it. So don't worry, it's not like a white, white, white. It is, it does have a hint of red underneath that cream. I'm gonna try and see if my phone can focus on it. There you go. Nice and slow so you can see that true color going, doing its thing. Oh yeah, that cream is so good. Uh, I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna start spinning the Swift. So if you get a little bit dizzy, I apologize in advance, but you can go ahead and skip over a little bit, but not check that out. Ooh, I'm using my finger to give it a little bit of tightness. I like my cakes to be a little bit on the tight side. Ooh, this is gonna be a good cake. Let's go ahead and fold this in so I can put it in the middle of the cake. Ooh, look at that. That is such a beautiful red. Ugh. And since that cream has that red undertone, it really doesn't pop that white. Um, you would think it would, but it really doesn't. It's a very nice true cherry burnt red. Cool. Let's move on. The next colorway is possibly one of my... Purple is starting to grow on me, as you can tell from my hair. I've never seen like a really nice lavender colorway that really speaks to me. But this, oh wow, this like 
dirty, dirty lavender Earl Grey tea moment. Like, are you kidding me? And this one is called Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. So that, that cactus green, look at that. I definitely see that in this vision. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at that dirty green and brown. Oh, I'm a sucker for these colorways. Oh my God. Oh, and that purple. Look, it matches my hair. Oh my God. That watercolor dirty effect is just, I love it. I... All right, let's put this on the Swift. I'm gonna give this a little spin so you guys can see the colors up close. There you go, nice and slow. Get that, oh, isn't that a great shade of green? Get some grays and then it transitions from the browns to the purples to dark purple to light and then you get that hint of coral and it goes back into that white with a yellow and green brown and then it goes into that cactus color right. Ooh, very, very nice. Last one, da 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 da. So this one is, sorry, I took a shower. My hair is not behaving. Oh my God, check that out. Oh, wow. This is actually not as purple as the yarn made it out to be. Like this is quote unquote dirty enough to really be a really radical, cool, cool yarn. <gasps> Wow, Laura Jean, this is a great, this is Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. If I'm not mistaken, the paper's already in there, so I can't take it out. But check that out. Oh, I would love a sweater in just this colorway. These two match so well. Like these would play together very, very nicely. This one even with this one from last month. Even this one, like, oh, that's such a good combo. That's why I wanted to wait also because I knew if I had four more colorways, these colors would play together very, very nice. Two more to go. So let's go ahead. I don't know which one. So this one's maybe, uh, like I am a sucker for moss algae greens. Like if you've ever had stains from moss or algae, this is it. And oh my God, this is Katahdin, Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but oh my God, that's just so beautiful. Exactly what you see on camera is exactly how it looks in real life. This is probably my newest favorite colorway that she's ever done. This is just insane. I've never seen her use this green before either, so I'm assuming she got some new dye colors. Laura Jean, if that's correct, let me know. But yeah, I am very happy with the new colors she's been using. Like, check that out. Or hold on, let me lower this a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's like a rust, dirty dirt mixed with watery water mixed with algae, algae, and just the sky blue. <laughs> Let's zoom in on the yarn. There you go. Check that out. Oh, very good. Look at that blue and the green <gasps> sorry for the weird sounds i'm making that's just how this how knitted with yarn makes me feel oh that transition beautiful i love dissecting people's art like dyeing techniques it's so cool to just do oh yeah that brown this brown like i kind of want my hair to be brown with blue what do you guys think? Should that be my new hair color? Oh my God, brown to blue to green. Ooh. Okay, I really have to say that this is my favorite colorway, but no, 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 no. This one is definitely my favorite colorway. Oh my God, you guys, look at that. Look at that. It is as if you threw this yarn in moss and algae and just let it get dirty in the dirt with algae. This is so beautiful, guys. Very, very beautiful. I can't tell what color is the dominant one. I want to say the green, but it's just because the green is darker than the other hues. But this is another funky colorway that if you did a sweater in just this, like, look at that. It matches perfectly. You could also mix this with this one for sure. 
and I think where's the other blue one? You can definitely mix the darker blue one with this one. Like that is really, really cool. This one is Cesar E. Chavez National Monument. Now this one, this one's a really funky color too. Like, check that out. Like, come on, really? I'm actually curious to see if this will pool, uh, but we shall see. But look at that. Oh, that is so nice. I can't even tell how she dyed this one. I'm trying to see where the colors kind of match up. Look at that. Where's that purple? Like that purple is not even on this side. So where, or I guess it's there. Maybe something like this. I don't know. That's how random this colorway is. And I am here for it. I am loving it. I'm super curious to see how this is going to uh, cake up. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll be done winding all of our yarn. Ooh -wee. Ooh -ooh -ooh -wee. Oh my God, I might have to recake this one. It's coming apart for some reason. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Wow. This came out a little bit more neutral than what I was expecting. But I guess that's a good thing because, you know, it's always nice when you have so many color. It's always nice to have... Wait, I'm missing two. <gasps> Will I be able to stack them all? Ugh. When you have so much color going on, it's always nice to have a neutral in there to calm things down. You have a brown, you have the earth tones, you have that now that cream tone. So to reiterate, every month, Knitted Wit in the summer, she does, she releases four colorways. It's her National Parks or um, Craft the Parks collection in which she takes national parks, monuments, other historic parks and does a colorway on them. And so we have here four from May and four from June. Can't wait for July and August. She does it for four months. Last year she started that. So it was really, really cool to participate in that. I didn't get all the colors last year, but this year I'm on the track to get all of them as much as I can because then you get a free pin and you get a patch, I think. If you get eight, you get a patch. If you get all 12, you get a pin, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. This is the palette so far. And I think what I'm gonna do is a cardigan combining two months worth of colors because with 12 colors, I mean, I could wait until August, but when you have this much yarn, why are you going to wait? You should just use it. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me while I unwrapped, analyzed, and caked up the Craft the Parks June colorways from Knitted Wit. All of her information and her yarn shop will be listed in the description box below. Don't forget to go ahead and check her out. And these colorways are only available at local yarn shops. So if you are interested, my local yarn shop, Yarnify in downtown Chicago, carries these colorways. And I'll leave a link in the description box below. So if you are interested, you can definitely hit them up and get yourself some of these because once they're gone, they're gone. Hopefully you see something that you like, whether it's cool tones, warm tones, earth tones, and neutral tones. You got it all in this month's colorways. Actually, look, this is one of the cardigans where I just need to add the sleeves, where I combined multiple different park colorways all together. So this is kind of something that I'm going to do similar to uh, with these because I already have a template here and I can just follow it. So yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoy that video. Let's do some quick shout outs. Thank you so much to all of the channel memberships. Uh, let's start off with our influencers. Shout out to Ilse, shout out to Karen Miller, and shout out to Blanca Valtierrez. Thank you so much for being a Limon Influencer member. And for our inner circle, we have Dina's Homespun, uh, Homespun Fun, sorry, I was trying to read the whole name. And then we also have Ola Jo, the Crocheting Sailor, and Cocktails and Crochet with Coco. Thank you so much for being part of the inner circle. And shout out, quick shout out to my Limon family members. So Lisa Pratt, Rose, Susan, Amanda, Angela, Lauren, I see you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being part of the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.